Melbourne's controversial protective services officers are on duty for the first time tonight at our two main train stations. It comes as it's been revealed failed police recruits are being urged to become PSOs. Police reporter Cameron Bow is at Flinders Street Station tonight. Cameron, it's a low-key start. Peter, it is. Of the 18 graduates, 16 are on patrol tonight, 10 here at Flinders Street and 6 at Southern Cross. Now, the State Government and Force Command still have a major task on their hands to build $20 million worth of infrastructure and also to find and, more importantly, retain an extra 920 PSOs by November 2014. In their domain, the fully armed PSOs have all the powers of police, but less than half the training. At least one member of the first batch of 18 train station PSOs denies the job is a stepping stone towards joining the force. For me, it was a, it was a PSO. I, I'd followed my friends as mentors and I was happy to be a PSO. Senior officers admit failed police recruits are being sounded out to become PSOs. I would imagine there could be some conversation uh, with regards to an individual, whether in fact there's not other career options for them, that it could include being a, a protective services officer. Accommodating PSOs at train stations is still a work in progress. We're working through them on a case-by-case -case basis because each station is different. North Melbourne, Footscray and Richmond are the next stations in line for the PSO's rollout, but not before the necessary facilities, including restrooms, are in place. From tonight, PSOs will be on patrol at Flinders Street and Southern Cross stations. The first batch will work alongside transit police for their first three months on the job. PSOs look like police, they're armed like police, they've got the powers of police, yet their training is woefully inadequate. The government still needs to find another 920 PSOs by November 2014. The next crop of 21 is now in training, while according to police there are another 300 applicants. Cameron Bow, 7 News.